Greetings, everybody. This is a very special presentation. This is Dr. Colin about to play Minesweeper. Now, I haven't played Minesweeper for a very long time, and <laughs> I couldn't figure out how to play it back when I did have the game to play on a frequent basis because, you know, growing up when I grew up, um, like the first computer I had, I didn't have a computer till I was in grade six. And the first computer I had was a 386 with Windows 3.1. And one of the only games that you had access to um, when you had such a crappy system. And this is at a time where Windows 95 was on the way out, keep in mind. Um, Windows 98 was just about to sort of roll around. Um, Minesweeper was one, Solitaire was another. Um, everyone played Minesweeper. Not everyone knew how to do it, and I was one of those people. All I knew was that you clicked stuff and things happened. So, here, I'm going to try and figure out how to play it a little bit. Now, I know that it has something to do with numbers, when you click a thing and it... Yeah. Anyway, so the, the whole point of the game, as far as I'm aware, is to expose as much of this playing field as possible without getting blown up. Now, I think this little thing here down the bottom so over here um, you got a 99 and then there's a the little image of the, the sweeper but that's not the sweeper that's the mine that's a mine see there it look, it's look like a spiky ball it's a little bit like a, a sea mine anyway let's see if we can um, have a look I feel like the 99 means that there's 99 mines in here. So let's let's try it out. Uh, let's click here. Alright. So there's quite a lot of stuff there. Okay. So I think... Does that mean that... Wait, does this mean that in three blocks there's a mine? answer is yes. Yes, there was one there. Alright, let's try again. So the mines are in the same position as last time. Be careful, you can lose on the first click. Okay, so... trying to sort of follow the numbers a little bit, so I'm like three. So if I go across here, one, two, three, and I go... So apparently that meant that there was a mine there. Alright, so if I take that across... So... Have a look at that. Still don't get it. Mm. Wow, okay. That was good. Two, one. I'm really, really bad at this. 
this game. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to throw this out to you guys at home. In the comments, tell me how I'm supposed to play Minesweeper because I do not know and I cannot be bothered googling it. And I reckon you guys will probably know better than I do. So if anyone's got any ideas on how to play Minesweeper, um, please just leave a comment below. Um, and I'll, I'll be watching for the comments, I'll be looking at the comments, and um, based on whatever comments we've got below, I will uh, do a follow-up video and hopefully have a bit more to uh, kind of work with, because I'm just really, really bad at this game, so any advice you guys can give to me, much appreciated. Alright, anyway, that's all for now. Because um, it's just, I've played 11 games and I've won none. Uh, and some of those are really awful, awful, really quickly blown up kind of situations. So, uh, anyway, thank you for watching. Please comment below, like, subscribe, all that kind of cool stuff so that you know when I'm going to be making the next video that I'll be putting up on the channel here. Um, and I'll be, if you leave comments below, I'm going to be referring to you guys in the video. So, if you leave a comment below, I'll give you guys a shout out. And, um, hopefully, get a little bit better at the game. So, um, thank you for watching.